Howdy once again, it's Tubal Kane, and welcome to my videos, and this is Machine Shop Tips number 320, entitled Royal Quick Change Tooling for the Bridgeport Mill. Now, if you've ever suffered with the uh, time-consuming task of changing the tool from uh, one size to another, whether it's changing end mills or inserting uh, a drill chuck, or whatever the uh, the tool change may be, you know that it's rather time consuming and often we struggle with the wrong tool simply because we don't want to take the time to do that. And so what I wanted to show you here was the Royal Quick Change Tooling as applied to the Bridgeport Mill. So let's take a look at that. Here's the Royal Products Tool Catalog from 1996, so that's 20 years old. You know, I was only 53 years old and still in my prime at the time. I don't think they print the catalog anymore, but you can go online to their website, shown here, and download their cyber catalog if you want, or just take a look through their website. I must tell you that Royal Products are the highest of quality and extremely expensive and in general not affordable by the home shop machinist. They cannot be bought directly from the company but you would buy them from a supplier. Enco for instance uh, sells the Royal Products and there are many products besides the quick change tooling. On the website as well as on this catalog page it shows you the steps here for installing the quick change tooling. <coughs> Pardon me. And then on the following pages you're going to find the um, the tooling here and the main thing to, that you have to buy here is the easy change body. Now that's four hundred and ten dollars twenty years ago and I'm going to tell you it's about six hundred dollars now and now you know what I mean by being a uh, unaffordable really and the different uh, tool holders here are typically well here they're $160 they're about $200 a piece and they have uh, ones for shell end mills and for regular end mills and drill chucks and there's a uh, holders and so on so now I'll show you what I have in stock here in my own selection I do not have all of them but even what I'm going to show you is thousands of dollars worth and it was a gift to me. I could never afford this tooling. I made these plywood tool holders copied loosely from what you see in the catalog to hold these. And however it doesn't really hold this but that's normally kept in the spindle of the bridge port. And these are available as far as I know only with an R8 shank. And this again is called the easy change body. You won't be able to see the inside of it once I mount it into the spindle, but you can see how that's made with uh, three balls, and uh, there's your release, your drive lugs, and so on. It's all hardened and ground, and uh, just super precision. And I'm going to tell you that in their catalog, they do tell you that this is for light and medium milling, not for super large end mills hogging off like maybe you might use in, in CN. C machines. And I have, what is it, about eight or nine of the uh, uh, tools here, quick change tools. I have several of these that are out on semi-permanent loan to my brother, so that's why there's some empty spots here. But let's take a look at the different uh, tool holders that I have. The catalog calls these positive drive tool holders, I think because of the lugs. And they come in about five or six different sizes, this being a half inch. And then you would use your uh, Allen key to tighten down uh, the cutter on the, uh, if I can show you here, the flat spot. So that they cannot slip or rotate or come out. So there's an empty one, all oiled nicely. Half inch and there's a three eighths. And these other ones here are 3 eighths. But notice that I keep several different kinds of end mills in there. Here's a, a, a ball end mill. There's a edge finder and a wiggler and some other end mills as well as a uh, 3 eighths Jacobs chuck. Also out on loan to my other machines is a um, Albrecht chuck. 3 eighths. 
but normally I have it mounted on this tool because there's the I forgot what uh, Jacob's taper that is but that's what fits into into here now let's uh, get these mounted and I'm going to show you how it works before I start uh, changing tools here let me just point out that uh, I made a video on this foot brake and I made that specifically to speed up changing both with the uh, royal tooling and with the regular tooling so that I have two hands free and I can do the braking down here. There's a video on that if you care. And next at the risk of boring you let me change a tool the old way and I'm going to have to change collets and cutters from a half inch down to a three eighths and you can watch in real time how long this takes. Not real long but if you have to do it over and over uh, during a job it gets uh, pretty uh, tiresome. So again loosen it up take out the uh, collet and the cutter wipe everything off clean you know how to do this. Now I suppose this operation is taking uh, less than a minute and you can uh, watch the counter here on your video but using my foot brake now tightened and it's changed so I don't know how many seconds I was but it wasn't terribly long but it's just so much easier with the Royal tooling. Now let's do the Royal tooling. The R8 shank easy change body of course wipe it off oil it once in a while put that right up in your spindle and tighten it down as you would any tooling and then if you're using strictly royal tooling it may remain there for months depending on how many uh, adapters that you have. Alright that's tight and ready to go. I don't work for royal tooling but since I'm promoting their product and if anybody there at headquarters is uh, watching I'd appreciate uh, a few more tool holders and a uh, I'll put in a good word for you but before you attempt to put your uh, holder in there you need to cock this if it's not already cocked so with my foot on the brake notice the brass plunger there and a knurl so I'm just uh, twisting that and now it's cocked and ready to receive the holder and then I'll simply put this in make sure that they're clean no chips on them stick it in there like that rotate it and you'll hear it click and move slightly and it's ready to use and that quickly I'm going to put my foot on the brake again here otherwise you might have to put your hand up at the top and use the brake but I, I like to break it twist it ready to cut now I'll stop for a moment and uh, you can time it I'll change from the uh, 3 8 to let's say uh, Another three eighths, I guess, or to that half inch. Okay, start timing. Take that out. Put the ball in, mill in, and I'm ready to cut. How much time did that take? So once you install the tooling, you can put your three-quarter inch drawbar wrenches away for a while. And I think you saw my videos on, on my nut body. And I don't know what it is that, uh, that uh, one and a half million people watched that one. I think they got there by mistake. But if you haven't seen the one on nut body, check it out. I'm sure you have already. Let's do a few more changes. So you may wish to drill a hole. It's even faster if you use a, a keyless type Albrecht chuck. Go ahead and drill the hole. I guess I should have said we need to locate it first and we would use our edge finder. Go through that operation. And then we're ready to mill in this case with a quarter inch end mill. Pretty nice. Now, of course, to change the cutter within the, uh, the holder, I have a, several different Allen wrenches, I should say hex keys here. And using the appropriate one, of course, 
uh, you could go ahead and change it. And it's much easier to change these when uh, the tool holder is locked in the spindle than to attempt to do it by hand here and you could cut yourself. Be sure and wear your safety glasses in your shop and practice all safety rules at all times. Well, I think that concludes this video on Royal Tooling. I hope you liked it, even though you may never have the uh, coins to buy such an item. This is Tubal Cane saying so long for now, and I'll see you in my next video.